Step three of our process will focus on rehearsing the show that you've prepared. Now, it's helpful to be aware of what qualities a good presenter has when delivering their message. Presenting doesn't come naturally for most people, including myself, so it's really a good idea to rehearse your presentations multiple times and be aware of these four key factors. Number one, speak at a comfortable, natural pace. When you are nervous, the natural tendency is to read and speak things faster, but slowing down generally improves your delivery. Number two, emphasize key words. Nervous presenters tend to forget about the natural inflection from delivering their information. So before you start rehearsing, decide which words and phrases you want to emphasize in your viewer's mind. Use different inflections to emphasize those points. Number three, use pauses to your advantage. Pausing in the right places can help emphasize points. When planning your pauses though, think not only of punctuating your delivery, but also taking breaths where they really don't disrupt your flow. And sometimes I like to add an extra blank teleprompter lines for this. And number four, gesture for effect. But use gestures carefully because the right gestures can make a show more effective, but the wrong ones can be ineffective or distracting. Now this is not to suggest that you should see, stand frozen like a statue, except when you make a choreographed move. Just be conscious of your actions and find a balance of stillness and gestures. Sometimes my students actually will rotate on chairs or they'll tap a foot and these type of things can really be distracting to the viewers and take their attention away. So in summary, keep these things in mind while you're learning about this third step in our process called rehearsing your show.